Hey guys, Danielle here from Wendell Woodworks and I just walked into the shop to work on some more care packages today. My care packages have just like a rainbow stack, a little verse card holder, a sweet note, some stickers, just some things to make people smile who could use one. So I'm gonna show you um, what I'm doing just so you can try it at home. And I'm gonna start with my rainbow stack. It's pretty simple. I'll put the little template down below for you. Um, I'm gonna take this over to my pile of scraps in my reclaimed wood just to see what we had to work with. All right, I have these scraps left over from other projects. Obviously, you can still see the cuts, but you don't need very much for these little rainbows. They're just cute and tiny, so this is perfect. Uh, it's definitely thick enough to be able to stack and stand. I also have pallet wood. I've got some cedar. I've got some pieces of pine. All of this will work great. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with what I have. I love the look of this anyway. It's super cute and rough cut, um, but we'll sand it down. And after I cut out all the little rainbow pieces, I'll stain them. Okay, you guys, my shop is a mess. I'm not even gonna try to hide it from you guys because if you're a mess like me, you can still make stuff. It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my rainbows. I'm gonna stick them right onto my wood. I would advise using a spray adhesive or a glue stick to put on top of some painter's tape on your wood. I am out of all of my glue. So I am just going to tape these directly to my wood with some masking tape. It'll get the job done. Not quite as nicely, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So go ahead and tape these on and then I'm gonna take it to my scroll saw and I'm going to cut these out with a number five modified geometry blade. The lines on these rainbows are pretty thick. So I focus on just the top of each line. The tricky part about cutting circles and rainbow shapes on a scroll saw is that it's really easy to notice any veering off or imperfections. So really take your time to get the cuts as accurate as possible. I always feel like I'm going a bit cross-eyed from concentrating so hard on the line. I'm not sure that's the way that you're supposed to feel, but it does take effort to cut rainbows well, so don't get discouraged if it takes you a few tries. Once cut, I sanded the pieces over to remove any rough edges, and then I went to staining. I like to try different colors with every batch and I still haven't decided which I like the best, but this time around I left the bottom layer natural and I used classic gray, early Americana, golden oak, and dark walnut stains by Minwax. I then coated each layer with a couple coats of polyurethane. I used a brush this time around, but occasionally I like to use a spray finish to batch finish them with a bit less work. All right, next I'm going to make my little verse holder. Now the verses themselves, I normally print these off and cut them with my Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, you can just print them off and cut them by hand. And I'll stick that PDF in the description below for you to print off. But the holder itself, I normally create this by running a board down the table saw and the slot is also created on the table saw. If you don't have one and you only have your scroll saw, you can still make a little holder. The difference is that you won't be able to make them three inches wide. You'll only be able to cut one that's two inches wide and that's fine. It's still plenty long enough to hold your cards. So let me show you how you can do that. Start by taking a piece of wood. I'm gonna use the same piece of wood that I just used for my rainbow and make a line that's about one inch wide and two inches long. Cut this out and this is gonna serve as your base. Now that we have a base, we're gonna turn it to the side and we're gonna create just a little rectangle. It only has to be about an eighth inch thick maybe a quarter inch deep, not even that long. Just create a little section right there. We're gonna take this to the scroll saw and turn it long ways and just cut out this little section right here to hold the cards. So I started with these cute little white boxes I got off of Amazon. I got some filler paper from the Dollar Tree, made some cute stickers. And in goes our rainbow stack tied with twine. That was one I did on cedar, so it looks a little different. In goes my verses and my card holder. A few cute stickers. And of course, a thinking of you card with a personalized message we can stick on the back. And it is ready to send someone's way. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope this gives someone in your life a smile. And if you want some more scroll saw projects and tutorials, you can check out more videos right here. Happy scrolling.